Hello, I'm Gary and I'm here to introduce to you the Nokia Lumia 1020. Alright. So you can see here I've got a new Nokia Lumia 1020 by hand. And the first thing that you will see is that it is a very unmistakable Nokia design with the mm -hmm. same unibody shape that we've always had and it's only 10 mm thick. And the unit the polycarbonate material that we use helps us to be able to allow the phone to withstand the daily knocks because it's the same material that we use to make that people use to make hockey helmets. And it allows us to deliver this bright inherent colors within the polycarbonate material. Is this the same material, Gary, as the one used for 920? Yes, it is the same material as the one used for 920. But this time round, we have made it matte as uh, requested by our consumers mm -hmm. and from the feedback that we've gotten. But one big difference is what's in the front of the device. So here, there are two changes that has met, we've made in the design. The first thing that we've made in design change is that this uses Gorilla Glass 3. So it's even tougher and it will be able to withstand even more knocks from the use. The second thing we've done is that we have changed the display to an AMOLED display. What this does is that it has made the whole display lighter while making be able for us to deliver more vibrant colors even utilizing this particular uh, display technology. Alright, so and I guess that kind of display really would highlight the main selling point of this phone, Gary, right? Yes, which, which is, is the which is really the massively improved camera. I own I, I personally own a Nokia Lumia. 920, which is already a great camera phone, and they have the Nokia 808 Pure View. And I heard that this phone is actually a more or less a combination of those two. Well, it is, and yet it isn't. So on the back here, you will see that there is the new camera assembly here. And right. on the camera assembly, you will notice a few things. We have firstly got the second generation 41 megapixel backside illuminated sensor. So this is a second generation sensor. You're calling sensor. it a second generation, Gary, well, of coming from... It is from, from the 808 because it's not right. backside illuminated. Oh, so the first generation is the 808. Yes, Gary. that's correct. All right. And then together with that, we have added in optical image stabilization. All so right. there are ball bearings inside that help to secure the sensor array and make sure that it, it remains rock steady. So if you shake right. it, you can actually hear the ball bearings at work. And on top of that, we have a mechanical shutter. All right. So that allows us to do very interesting, creative, uh, exposure shots which we're able to vary the exposure timing All right. there's a mechanical shutter here and on top of that we have both xenon flash and LED flash All right. xenon flash of course for photos mm -hmm. and LED flash would work great as video light and low, low light conditions so right. this whole thing together is the new hardware side of the thing but the hardware side of the thing is only you know relevant if we can bring it to life in the user experience right. and that's where we really believe that the magic happens all right and i guess it also apart from what you have in terms of hardware it also features imaging algorithms right which are all new in terms of low light capabilities that's all right. right so the software is where all the magic happens the first thing that you're absolutely right is that this camera, people ask us why do you need to put a 41 megapixel sensor into the phone? The reason for that is because whenever you're taking even a 5 megapixel image, it utilizes up to 7 pixels to be able to create the perfect image. So right. this technology is called oversampling, where you use many many pixels to actually create one perfect pixel. So it's like you condense uh, several pixels into one pure pixel. That's right. Uh -huh. And that gives you the best pixel possible in every shot. But the other part of it is that it allows you to then go back and use a 41 megapixel of data to actually simulate lossless zoom. So you can actually go into the image and actually find things that you've never seen before in the image. So let me show you for an example All right. what we're going to do here. You see here that we have got the brand new um, settings bar at the top where you can actually see all the, the different... This is the Nokia Pro camera, right? That's right, this is the new Nokia Pro camera application that is of course here on the Lumia 1020 but you can download it if you have got a 920, 925, 928 device. What you do here is that you can actually slide up and down for video and you can switch between video and camera mode. But what the magic really happens is that when you push this out, you actually get the settings rings. And this allows you to actually change what you can do with the image. So you can change the exposure settings. And you can this will allow you to really make the most out of the powerful camera. That's right. right. So this really connects you to the hardware. You can see I get immediate feedback on my screen about what I'm doing. So this is me changing the exposure. This is me changing the shutter speed all the way up to 4 seconds. Mm -hmm. This is me changing the ISO sensitivity. I can change 
the manual focus so I can make something sharp or I can make something blur. It depends on where are the image that I want, part of the image I want to focus on. And of course, I can change the white balance. So this can change the color temperature of the photograph. And you get immediate photo feedback from what's happening here. And we are not confident on what's going on. If I change everything back to auto, simply flick this out again, everything resets again, and you'll be able to then set up the shot and auto again. But what's the great thing is that once you take the shot, you can then, that's when the magic happens. So now I'm going to take the picture. I'm focusing here, and I'm going to take the picture. And I get great, of course, fidelity um, because of the, even when I have got uh, no tripod, All right. because I have got, um, you know, the optical image stabilization helping me, right? So I don't need the flash. But one of the things that we can do now is to actually hit the reframe button. And the reframe button allows us to go into the picture to tell a different story. So let's say if I just want to focus on one word in this whole picture here. Right? Will that be available on other phones, Gary, like mm -hmm. 20 or just this one? If the reframe is not available in the other... Well, let me correct that. The reframe is available in the other camera applications, the other 920 and 925. It will be available there. But you can't get as close as you can with the 41 megapixel sensor All right. because the 41 megapixel sensor delivers so much more data. Because of the lossless zoom, right? That's right. Because which of, you don't have in Which other you don't have in the others. So I can go all the way into the word focus and I can press save and you can see, still see that the word focus is still in focus. Yes, yes. And I can then that, share this picture as my main picture. And if I go back now out into my gallery and if I go to my photo album, you can see down here that I can actually go back into the picture All right. and I can actually resize this photo and actually reframe it on go back to the original shot go back into the original shot and then go into something else like the word zoom yes. and I can say this word instead and I can share this particular picture yes. in image instead so I can have the ability to go into the pictures and look at stories and tell new stories all the time and of course with the long exposure times I can do creative shots where I can actually extend the shutter speed of the time and we actually did this on ISO 100 but with a four second shutter speed which allowed us to actually capture this light painting of the 1020 using just torches moving about and that's possible again because of the powerful lens I guess that's right we've got the lens uh, plus the ability we have got a mechanical shutter here plus the ability to be able to do long exposure times so all of this combined allows me to take shots very creatively, be able to reframe the shots. So if I want to find out what's the original shot, I can zoom out or I can zoom in to reframe the shot again. And I can just save this and then I can share this beautiful 5 megapixel image to everybody that I want to. So we really believe that with the Lumia 1020, it's going to completely change the way people capture a moment, yes. be able to create their photos and be able yes. to reframe and tell the stories within this to be able to share it with people. Gary, I'm so impressed with the with the imaging capabilities of this phone. Would you say it's a DSLR replacement? It can it can be that? Well, we realized that, that not everybody wants to lock a DSLR yes, all yes. the time because of its weight and its bulk. And because of the size and the weight of this, and because it's your phone, yes. you have it with you all the time. Which And with a quick press of the shutter button, you're into the pro mode already. And we really believe that rather than trying to dig out your equipment and missing the moment, you're able to capture every single moment and relive it. And I also like the fact, Gary, that because there are other manufacturers that tried to do this, right? And then what they came up with is, is more like a digicam with a phone. This is really a phone with powerhouse capabilities because it keeps the form factor of the phone and not, you know, copy the form factor of another device, right? That's right. You know, what we did was to try and solve the problem a different way. And you could actually put a digital camera and a phone together. Yes. But we believe that that is not the ideal form factor. And that's not, not that's not Gary. That's right, it's not the ideal form factor. And it's not something that people will want to keep easily and readily at Because hand it's bulky, in the right? That's right, because of the bulk. The, I mean the, the thickness. The thickness the, is only 10 mm on this mm -hmm. device. 
plus on top of that, the weight of the device is actually 30 grams lighter than the 920. So this makes a great phone, but it also has a super imaging powerhouse built inside it. All right, so I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm just looking right now. I'm just looking forward to getting it for myself and playing with it. I love, I love the phone. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. Again, friends, that's Nokia Lumia 1020. It's now out in the Philippines, right? So the Nokia Lumia 1020 will be available in the Philippines from the 11th of October. All right. At 35,650 pesos. That's 35,650. 35,650 pesos, and it will come together free with a camera grip worth 4,000 pesos, which contains a second battery, a two-stage camera wow. button, and a tripod mount. And you, I, I That's a, lots of freebies, right? And I advise you guys to go down to your nearest Nokia store uh -huh. and try it out for yourself and see how it's going to change the way you capture your moments and be able to share it with others. Alright, so this is a camera phone done, right? Thank you so much, Gary. Thank Nokia Lumia 1020.